people are my people. I'm likely about to um, review what would be the passing thing of a uh, gimmick. So what it is is I was friends of mine, Blake and Sally, went down to Tasmania a couple of months ago and brought me back some um, lavender spirits. Now, this lavender malt liqueur, although it's a way too small glass for these people knowing me better than bring this, um, is by Old Kempton Distillery, and I know they make plenty of other stuff. This stuff, we Island Spirits, I haven't been able to find that much about, but I will try it. There's no sound of happiness because basically, screw top. Um, which is what actually has me thinking that these guys' main line is lavender. So I picked up some neutral spirit and decided to um, basically make something. Yep, it's a lavender flower, lower and pea berry um, infused. So basically, they've done what I did with the bathtub gin with a whole lot of lavender and pea flower. It's got the appropriate colour. It will likely have a kind of a change in the um, when I add tonic to it. And basically, apart from the gimmick of the lavender, um, this is just dry gin. All they've done is infuse a nice dry gin with um, some interesting colours to uh, for dogs to follow. Tourists, sorry. Hmm. This lavender is forward, but then there's the burn of the proof gin. Um, I haven't been able to find out that much about these guys online, because, and I strongly suspect that there's really not there. Woody Island's spirits is just basically, um, basically, yeah, um, a shop front for, I can't even find them on a bottle. Yeah, Woody Island's spirits at yahoo.com. It's proof it'll be something perhaps give the lavender lover in your life a, a thrill with. But apart from that, it's not really something I go out of my way for sticking. Thank you. Thanks for hitting that subscribe and um, share it buttons. It means the world to me. Catch ya.